There you go. Hey, everybody. I told y'all I'll be back, and I'm back. With a brand new video and the third video for today. I wanted to get on here and talk about a uh, relationship. I wanted to know how come every time that, okay, we be with somebody or, or we're not dead, and if we decide that we don't want to be with them no more, we have to uh, cuss them out or get angry at them because of like, um, if I if I if I say to you that I'm proud of you, and you go back at me and, and curse me out. Well, I mean, because all because I don't want to be with you. Why is that? I mean, I know that we had some good times, but beyond good times. Why uh we had hard times and we had to come to the real realization that on them hard times it was time for us to let the relationship go. And I think people don't realize that relationships is a lot of work. And at the end of the day, if you're not willing to put in the work, then it's best for you to walk away. I, you know what, child? I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all like this. I'd rather walk away from a relationship any day than to sit in a relationship and allow a person to cheat on me. Allow you to sit there and cheat on me. I'd rather just walk away. Because when you walk away from a relationship, they're letting you know for a fact, not only you're not trying to hurt yourself, and get hurt, but you're not under, you're not gonna hurt this uh, other individual. And I, I sometimes I think people don't get that. I think people are more angry when you walk away or when you tell me I don't want to be with you no more. When you say that I don't want to be with you no more, or anything of that kind of nature, you angry at me. But why? Wouldn't you want me to just walk away or and tell you I don't want to be with you so I, I'm not feeling the same pain that you caused me or I'm not feel or, or or you not feeling the same pain that I caused you? Why when I when I sit there and I go for instance, I can't, you know, I say, um, I'm proud of you. You done a good job, congratulations. To everything that you conceded or you conceived. You know what I'm saying? Why do, I, why do you have to go on and cuss me out? Why is that? Why we can't just have a normal, balanced friendship? And then another thing, how come when if I see you out at the club and maybe, just maybe, I have a new boo, why I have to be a problem? Why we just can't get along? I introduce you, hey, this is such and such, this is a friend of mine, or da 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 da. That's what I'm talking about. It don't even have to go in a situation to where we have to disgrace each other. Just we could just do the normal, not knowledgeable. I hope I'm saying it right, y'all. Thing and move on. And then I think also, once we move on, we can stay moving on. I think the problem that I had in my relationship, I kept going back. I, I don't know if I kept going back because I was scared to be by myself or because I loved him. But at the end of the day, I kept allowing myself to be in this relationship that was toxic and that uh, endured the same pain over and over again when I could have just walked away and been happier by myself. I don't know. I think self-love is better than everything. And I don't think that you have to be in a relationship. I think it's okay to be in a relationship. I think it's it's okay to love someone and be loved. 
It's nothing wrong with it. That's not what I'm saying, y'all. What I am saying is, why do we have to disgrace one another after it's all said and done? And after it's all said and it's gone. And, but then, when we first got together, everything was okay. But we agreed that as we first got together, that if we ever break up, we were going to be friends. But I don't really think the friendship turned out like that. I don't. I don't understand, y'all. I've been. I've been. You know, these these are things that I've been struggling with for years and years to come. And as I struggle with these things for years, I never understood how is it possible. For someone to a stream and I mean endure this this um uh, this unhappiness that we're happy. Uh Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. It. So that's why I asked y'all, why why can't we just be happy for one another and love one another and respect one another? If y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that uh, as I talk about this right here, this ain't something that I already talked about. So that's why I'm checking in my, uh, my notes. And it looked like this is happening so far. You know, because I want to, I don't want to, I don't want to bring up a storyline or talk about something that, uh, Um, that's boring. I always want to keep y'all excited and to keep y'all coming back to what I talked about. Because what you know me, whatever I talk about, I want it to be real and authentic. Okay, so yeah, I've talked about this subject before, but I had, well, I actually talked about it when I said I talk about it about relationship, friendship, and all of that. But I, this this video here is going to be about a, a relationship drama, uh, part one, because uh, I just don't understand how can you not be with someone? How can you be with somebody for so long? And been with somebody for so long. And then. After it's over. It's. You all kind of. Cursing words. It, 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 I, I just think it's disrespectful. For one. And I think. Don't nobody deserve to be disrespected. Out of their name. And I, I don't I don't understand it. You know, I mean, it, is it not capable or corporate for me to slide in your DMs or get online and say, well, I'm proud of you. Uh, I see you just open up to a new business or I'm proud of you. I see you just done that. Or even, I mean, even congratulations on your new uh, found uh, relationship or anything. I mean, why it have to be hostetic? Because you know what? I think, to me, I feel like it has to be hostetic because you don't miss nothing until the well runs dry. And that's the only thing they used to, back in the day, they used to say, you don't miss it till it's gone. 
But still, if you don't miss it to it's gone, and if you truly have love for this person, then don't don't do what you do. Don't disrespect that person. Because y'all still can have that same kind of friendship. And then another thing I think that you should have to realize is you don't know what might happen in the future. It might come back that the relationship may come back. Or it may not come Some things only happen for a season. And I've been saying that. I mean, and like, if you watch Madea on some of these shows, she tells you that. When she talks about that security guard and she tells them sometimes things only happen for a season. And that that is for a reason. Um, But I don't think people understand that. That just like it's been floating. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it all over the internet. It's been floating about that thing about Michael uh, B. Jordan and Laura uh, Lauren uh, Harvey. Now, this man here, no, he ain't never in his life dated a black woman. But he, he said some things about her. But still, she ain't said nothing about him. That's why I sit there and say relationship drama. But I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to say this. This is, video is going to be called After Relationship Over, The Drama Begins. The relationship break up, the, re, the drama begins. But that's all I wanted to say. And y'all say pray to, and I love y'all.